one night. Our next house is the Harden Homestead. One extraordinary family. Hello, we're the Hardens. With one amazing story. I went out and found my father, who had been homeless on the streets for 30 years. And then the day he found his dad is Father's Day, which I think is pretty amazing. They're about to receive the surprise renovation of their dreams. The Extreme Makeover design team has only seven days to rip down and rebuild absolutely everything. Yeah! Cowboy style. We've got 24 hours before the pilgrims come back to the homestead. One house, one week. One Extreme Makeover. Wow! The home edition. Wait, should I use fingernail clippers or this? One, two, three, four. and the renovation begins right now. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we pretty much are in the middle of nowhere. Oh, right. This, this is, is amazing. Yeah. So Paige, Tracy, Ali, and Preston. Our next house is the Harden Homestead. Okay, well that's what it's gonna be called by the time we're done with it. But right now, it's a rundown house on a lot of land, which gives us a lot of room to play. Now for years, it's been the home to Flema Jr., his wife, Laura, and their daughter, Ashley. Now, a few years back, they did a remarkable thing that was great for the family. It made life in that house a little more difficult. They sent us a video application asking for our help. When you see it, you'll know exactly what they mean. Check it out. Hello, we're the Hardens. This is my beautiful wife, Laura. Hello. This is my lovely daughter, Ashley. Hello. And this is my dad, Freeman Sr. Hello. And I'm Freeman Jr. Now, back when Freeman Jr. was a boy, his dad was a boxer, a really good boxer. Then, Freeman Sr. ended up struggling with a mental illness. He ended up walking the streets and being homeless for 30 years. Now, about four years ago, Freeman Jr. decided to go looking for his dad. He woke up and said, honey, I need to go find my father and let him know that I love him. Um, after a, a long search, one day on Father's Day, I uh, finally found where he was at. Um, brought him to, to our family. We gave him a home. We gave him love. We're giving him love. It's a good feeling to have that you're actually taking care of somebody, that you're actually doing a good deed for somebody else. The problem is there's not enough room for Freeman Sr. in the house. We are just crunched on space. We really don't have enough room and space for him. So Freeman Sr. is actually living in a trailer out back. It's very difficult having him out here. We're very concerned um, for his well-being. For myself, I really don't want anything, but I, I know from my heart and everybody's heart here in the house, the most important thing is for Freeman Sr. to have his room in a bathroom so that he can be secure and safe. I really feel that maybe this is an opportunity for other people to see that we can take care of them as they get older. This is crucial. ABC, please. This would be the most incredible thing you could do for a family. We hope you pick up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. It took them this long to find their dad. They finally got the family back together. Our job is to get them under one roof. The best news is, is we're in the middle of nowhere, and they have no idea we're coming. Are you with me? Let's do it. So there's the house. Let's go give him a wake-up call. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good for him. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> Good morning, Hun family! Yes! 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 Let's go! Thank you, Lord, thank you! You must be dying! I am dying! Let's go, Ty! Let's go, Ty! Well, me, you, and the Zion team, Tracy, Alison, Paige, and Ari. <laughs> Senior. How are you? I'm Ty. And you're Freeman Jr. I'm Freeman Jr. Right on. Yeah. Come on over here. Let me tell you what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Uh, you guys are going to a dude ranch in Tucson. Yeah. While you're gone, we're going to make over your house. OK? OK. So we only have enough time for you guys to show me the house, pack your stuff, and then we've got to get you out of here. Design team, the clock starts right now. Let's see your house. Let's check it out.
Let me ask you this. The exterior of the house, what would you call this? Ranch? I don't know. Spanish ranch? It's a little bit of like that. Spanch. 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 There, there you go. That's, that must be where it is. So this is the living room. This is the living room. We All spend right. a lot of time in here watching movies. Me and my dad watch boxing together. Nice. You want to sit in? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I guess the biggest issue is space. Yes. Right? yes. So yes. we'd like to bring bring dad into the house. Yes. yes. He was kind of missing, and then you found yeah, him. Yeah, my dad was homeless for about 30 years. And 30 years? Yeah. We quit talking when I was probably around 11 or 12, and then we became estranged. And the day that I found him was on Father's Day. I couldn't sleep, and I was my heart was telling me I need to go and, and find him. How do you just go out and find somebody like that? Start asking people. It took me a while. I was going on the streets, and I t talked to other homeless people. I talked to missionaries on the street. I talked to this one lady, <laughs> one homeless lady, and I asked her about him. And she's like, yeah, I know him! Like, so what did you guys think when you came home with Dad for the first time? Wow. <laughs> he said, I can't let him leave. And I said, I know. And so oh, he wow. just from then, he's been there ever since. Well, let's just say it put a strain on the family. But they brought the family together. And I think it's an amazing story. And our job is to put them under one roof. Are those horses above them? That, that yes, those are horses. So do you guys, do you guys have horses? No, we don't. Always wanted a I horse. I love a horse. You love a horse? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There they are. You yeah, have five of them right there. A horse is a pretty big responsibility. So like another. No, you can't have a horse. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, that's settled that, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Wow, this is going like camping, man. Yeah, it is. Oh, well, wait, look at their poor little view out here. They've got all this great it's land. If I lived here, I want to see those beautiful mountains. We can just open this all up and make this a great room. Take the ceiling out and we do those like big oversized beams. I love that. So, actually, this is your room. Yes, it is. All right. I understand you like the color pink. Oh, I love pink. It's my favorite color. Really? Well, there's not a lot of pink going on in here. I know. I wish there was, though. <laughs> You obviously like <laughs> horses. I can get you an alpaca. A llama. No. You sure? Mm -hmm. Llamas are nice. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see you riding up to school in a llama. People are going, hey, <laughs> she's different, you know? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll, uh, but you'll settle for a horse, but you yeah. got to have a llama. No. no. There's a way to make a really cool teenage pink room. Okay. This is the master bedroom. All right. I love the outdoor lawn furniture in the bedroom. Very nice touch. Well, obviously, you like green. You're wearing green. Yeah, I like green. Well, then, would you like maybe a green house? The outside? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like green house? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I like the house. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Are you guys ready to go on vacation? Are you ready for that? Right. Let's get you guys stowed away and get you on your way to the Dune Ranch in Arizona. Have fun on vacation. We'll handle everything from here. Have fun. And get that road fixed. I am just overwhelmed. Okay, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> we'll get him a horse. We'll get him a couple of goats or friendly stuff. Nice. Please get a plan started. I'll come okay. back. I gotta call the man about a horse. I'll be back. All right. I think you think. Talk about the possibility of taking the ceiling up. Huh? Yeah. Right. Oh, that that house. I gotta do that. This room, room is gonna so, be so fantastic. The ceiling, yeah. So low right now. Okay. Let's yeah. See. To do that ponderosa thing, we gotta have those exposed beams. Yes. We wanna see some okay. wooden beams. Vaulted ceiling. I love it. We're out in the high desert. Yes, I think are. this house could definitely be a ranch. Bring oh, a yes. cowboy action to it. What do you guys think? I love that idea. I like yeah. it. But Some without house. looking too much like a saloon front, because what somebody's like going to tie their horse up to it. Yeah, this That's all our idea. Yeah. All right. I definitely think there's plenty of room to do some grazing. Whoa. Hello, Freeman. Listen, it's Ty. Listen, don't tell anybody you're talking to me, okay? I don't want your wife, Laura, or Ashley to know you're talking to me. If you hear me and you agree, say okay. Okay. So here's the deal. What I need is permission from you to give me free reign to get you a horse. If you agree and you think I ought to give it a try, say okay. Okay. When you hang up, tell everybody it was the wrong number, all right? All righty. I'll be talking to you soon, Freeman. Thanks a lot for your time and have fun on vacation, buddy. All right. Wrong number. What do you mean, wrong number? Hi. Hi. Great. How's the work situation? Horse. Coming along. Good. Okay, so tell me the plan. We're moving Senior into well, yeah, what is now the garage. Yeah, yeah, he has his own place where he won't feel like he imposes on them. Fantastic. Well, what's the plan going on in Aston's room? We're doing pink and blue and 50s. Oh, I Basically, I'm moving in that room. We're going to do a 50s room, give her extra closet space. I would have loved that as a teenager. Put all my pink stuff in there. <laughs> No. Okay, what's happening to the rest of the house? When they show up, they're going to be astonished because they're going to see a barn, a greenhouse, and a whole new facade to their house. We're going to a little Ponderosa High Desert Ranch house. Mm, it's going to be fun. Bring in a barn. Why not? Throw in a horse. Sure. Well, what's the theme in Freeman Senior's room? What are we going to go with? Boxing, fight promoting. Sure. I would really like to bring some of that in there. And it's don't worry about the trailer. I know you guys are probably thinking about getting rid of it. I'm going to turn that into maybe a little something of my own as well. So I'll have All right. Back. It's a lot to do. Let's start moving first. Right. Let's get to work. All right. We're taking that leg up. We are moving this baby out of here. No, don't hey. hey, guys. Stay warm. Stay focused and stay out of my way, people. Dad, where are you going? I've got work to do on this baby. Don't worry. This is on me. Do you think he's ever coming back? Coming up. As you can see, it's snowing. Let's move it up, people. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh no, he's not. Oh, no. That's next on Extreme Makeover. Let's go there, Spunky. Yeah, yeah. Woo there we go. As you can see, it's snowing. We got extreme weather conditions. Dave Tesh, our contractor, what can I say? The man can build a house in six days if he doesn't kill you first. We're going to get through it. It's not going to stop us, all right? No! Are we ready for this? Yeah! Morning, Dave. How are you? Morning, Ty. You guys ready to settle up? Yeah! Well, let's move them out, people. Let's do this. So I want to give, you know, Freeman and the family, the Harden family, a little update. Uh, I like to keep them in the loop on what's going on in the house. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself with the dude ranch. Well, we got a lot of dudes here on your ranch, and let me tell you something. The dudes are tearing the place apart. I just hope that uh, Ty doesn't have a teepee out there for us when we get out there. That was cool. That was great.
flippers or this? see how they could pull it off, but they're the professionals. <laughs> nah. You know, all of our families get to see the before and after. They don't get to see what happens during, so I'm going to give them a little something to remember us by. What well, was once a garage? You can already see it coming into shape. Our light fixture, Harden Ranch, baby. Yay! You Thanks for everything. Up, Thank you. Up there, right? so yeah, nice we're building a barn. We were. Chainsaw. I don't want to get rid of a tree. I want to transplant a tree. So we started digging up some trees with the backhoe, and I think that therein lies the whole problem. Get Harold over here by the uh, septic area immediately. It's gonna be good. Tash doesn't know about it. Dave Tash never likes it when you break the chain of command. I don't know how many meetings I've had with all the team members saying, if any work goes out of the scope, they check with me first. But if you're We're not gonna I'm work gonna out of the code. scope that we've agreed to work out of, period. You might just wanna just for a second, open up your mind for one minute and give it the possibility of saving the trees. You wanna can it? So we've only been at this thing basically two hours. We're tearing the house down and already there's been a fight. Already the design team are arguing with Dave Tesh, our contractor. I face this guy, this type of guy, every Every day. Okay, get anything this is what we'll do done today. unless we do it Dave's way. You better accept that He's right now. He's in charge. He's working for us. Ali versus Tesh in the desert. Be there. This is really. Hmm. This guy is actually just locked into his bureaucratic mind of this is the parameter of my work. This is what I'm doing. That's it. Don't bother me. I can't help you. What? What? What else can we do? Replace what? him. Replace him. Yeah. Replace him. Fire him on demo day. Bad idea. Just step away. Take a breather. Okay, look, look, if you think you can find somebody, if you think you can find somebody that can do this job and do it in seven days, okay, then you go do that. We get drywallers, framers, got the plans, we get the bodies here to get them out of here and take this on. We gotta do a little intervention. Calm the situation down. I just wanna check in with you, talk to you about uh, Tesh. Uh huh. How are you feeling about that? Basically, we are hostages to him. Cower and ask we acquiesce, and that's really not that appealing. But you know what? I think it's kind of easy with him. What's going to happen when we need him in a situation? I think he would have gone for it. Money? He would have gone for it if we asked him first. The designers are telling me he's cool. I'm going to just roll with that, and uh, probably go find him now, and you know, maybe give him a hug. Hey, Dave. You got a sec? Because I just I want to feel like I am designing. What, what you guys are building, you know? Well, I want to feel you like, you know? me, you can keep on designing. You can keep on building. All right. All right. All right. All right. Cool. There was a lot of bickering, a lot of ego play, a lot of power plays going on. But in the end, Ali went in and apologized to Dave Tesh, and we buried the hatchet. Just a hatch. Uh, Chainsaw Jack, they call me sometimes. <laughs> Chainsaw Jack is so cool. He's by far the coolest guy here. Don't do this at home, bro. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. It's so peaceful out here. Compared to what's going on in the house. In the Ali versus Tash in the high desert. It's just nice to get a break from that nonsense. You just gotta keep remembering who it's for. The hardens. I get in a lot of trouble for this. They didn't. I don't think they know I plan on putting this in the house. Hello. Wow. What is that, guys? Is that my greenhouse? Yep. Excellent. And even a nice little message from them. Hope it's a great show. 
Very cool. All right, let's get it up. Well, the Hardens made it completely clear to me that they hated the color green. Well, here's the deal, man. The designers, you know, it's kind of tough to wrangle these guys. They came up with a decision. Basically, I just have to let you know, you're getting a greenhouse. <laughs> I apologize. I did what I could. But hey, look at it this way. You're going to get all kinds of really cool things inside that greenhouse, right? So I know that wasn't really what you wanted. But hey, enjoy the rest of the vacation. And I'll see you when you get back, OK? I didn't really want a greenhouse, honey, OK? I don't like green. Fighting and wasting time fighting is just not going to be productive to getting this thing done. How is the headboard coming? Tracy and I decided to show them that, like, look, a lame thing to fight about. Whoa! Oh, yeah. hot pink. You don't even know what you're talking about. We just kind of started play fighting. Oh, oh, an ally. Oh. <laughs> then we started wrestling. You're a liar and you're not an engineer. Oh, the one time she really did get me in the nose kind of hurt. Am <laughs> I bleeding? No. Are you okay? Oh. Okay. Are we done? Yeah. Building a house is really hard. It's so fun. It's very stressful. I didn't mean to just lash out at you like that. I'm so sorry. Back to work. Back to work. So Preston has a guy I know his name. Chainsaw Jack that he actually brought in from Washington State to make custom pieces out of like real cedar. And the guy, he's a very funny individual. Chainsaw Jack. I don't know what goes on behind those shades. Oh, they come bigger than this even. Really? <laughs> Chainsaw Jack is so cool. He comes in with these big logs and this long hair, and he just goes to town. Don't do this at home, folks. Yeah. This is really impressive, Jack, I must say. Oh, you wait till it's done. Very delicate. This looks like that crazy horse. Here, you want to? Sculpture. No, no, no. I'm not sure? This is your horse. <laughs> So we're, we're doing all right. We're not behind schedule, even given the bad weather. We got about 13 vendors working full speed right now. So let's check it out. We got a false ridge beam we're gonna drop in here. Level this off, flooring will go in later, cabinets are here. Kohler's making retro tubs, and that's a beauty right there. We have so much going on in this yard. Look at this, gabled roof. You get some sunset and stuff. Look at this. Isn't this great? I feel like I'm king of the world. Let me tell you a little story about a mobile trailer. The trailer's back, baby! And she's looking better than ever. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. I've decided to make a command decision, okay? I'm going to make you one of my deputies. I saw him swear. I solemnly swear to support Dave Tesh. To support Dave Tesh. And in supporting Big Dave. In supporting Big Dave. I'll support his decisions. I'll support... Within reason. His decisions within reason. You got it. Well, uh -huh. that's very nice of you. I am now the sheriff of the Harden Homestead. OK, you guys, so we want to save these right here. The Joshua trees, they're endangered species. You can't touch them without a permit. We actually had to get a permit, too, and we did, and we can move them. And what I've done is take them from places where they were going to die. And that stump was choking out all the light and water, this scrub oak, and that's what that is. This big Joshua tree is going to get a better home on the Hardin homestead. I'm going to get a picture for the scrapbook. Very nice. Jack. Well, I'm Look giving it to the age to look at. Where's this going? This is going to hang right over the entryway, and we're going to put this sign on top of it, and in this lot that I'm going to process it right now. Oh, very cool. Once again, we got everything we need from Sears, and then some. How many more do we need to cut? These spruce TNG slats actually create the walls. I've been working on this thing since 7 in the morning. This is pretty, uh, pretty sophisticated to put together. 
We haven't actually tightened down any of the nuts or the bolts. The whole thing's kind of uh, just basically snug because the, the final effort on the barn is to tweak it so it's square. We definitely need to uh, roam the neighborhood to find some of the uh, help to stain it. It's very precise, very heavy, and um, it's a lot. Hey there, Allie. Hi. I had a little free time on my hands. Thought you might need some help. Um, well, you want to get in on this thing? Well, I was just checking, you know, you said you'd have it done by now, so... <laughs> so we're in Freeman Senior's bedroom. This is Curtis, our wonderful airbrush artist, who is doing this gorgeous mural on the wall. It's just really cool, it's very subtle, but it's gonna look perfect in this room. I have a really good picture in here of what Freeman's room used to look like. That's his wall that now currently has the mural on it. Can you even believe it's the same house? This is Freeman Senior's bathroom. I love it. You can tell in this picture that everything's so wide. We use 36-inch doors on all of this. So it's very elderly friendly. So probably just build this and then um, kind of faux out the bottom sides. Yeah, Ashley's the girl after my own heart. She loves pink. And I'm so excited that we're going to give her the best room. We're going to do a 50s room. 54 is the width of our bed. OK. So I thought I'd just add four inches on either side so it doesn't come into the room too much. Yes. Or do I have enough room to just kind of go crazy? No, 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 no. no. Four inches on four either inches. side. Yes. <laughs> yes. OK. okay. It'll be nice and comfy. Exactly. <laughs> okay, nice cool. and tight. OK, thanks. Paige, do you have paint for that? No. What, what color are we going to paint it? The sky's the limit. I'm thinking, thinking blue. blue. I really like either we go with the real sky blue, the, that one, or the aqua. Either or. Just ahead. Dude, where's all the work? Where's all the love? Where are they at? I don't know. I think it's just you and me holding uh, the ring. Let me know if you see him. I shall do this. Where is everybody, man? I cannot believe it's completely done. I know. The night before they come home. We could not have done it without Dave Tesh. That's next on Extreme Makeover, Home Edition. Let me tell you a little story about a mobile trailer. This is a long, depressing song about a trailer. Gotta find a way to make it look even better. The trailer's back, baby! And she's looking better than ever. Well, at least on the inside. The outside needs a lot more work. So hang in there. We've got a lot more to go. We have 24 hours left. Where's Allie? Allie, we have 24 hours left, and I know that that barn is not finished. Come on, wake up. How did you get a hold of a blowhorn? All right, people, let's hustle. Let's get this yard put together. Maybe they'll listen to you. We need to wrap this thing up. Well, let's not help me out. We've got 24 hours before the pilgrims come back to the homestead. I love it. Here, here, will you do that again? Excuse me. Be careful out here, guys. There's snakes. All right. Well, I'm actually trying to get some old wood because I'm fixing the outside of the trailer. Oh, here's a good one. Now, that's a good one. Aye, there's a beauty. Yeah. It's what you call living off the land right here, buddy. You see that view? Fantastic. All right. Uh-oh, something just moved over there. That could be a rattler. That's not good. OK, this is snake infested. Definitely snake infested. Not liking that at all. Uh, we're doing great. We're ahead of schedule by about six to eight hours. By this afternoon, they'll be able to come in here and start decorating. Yay! You guys are here! Woo! My little painting helpers. Are you guys ready to paint? Woo! Come on in. When that dries up, it's going to look just like cedar. Woo! Oh, the brush. There you go. You guys are doing a great job. Look at this. We've even got tiny local help. How cute. I love it. It's like a little mini me. Pink and all. About as big as the help. Good job. <laughs> She'll be a carpenter in no time. Okay, guys. Took me a little bit longer than I thought, but we have this a barn. Is really good. We have it's a like barn. This looks awesome. Yeah. This it looks, looks great. so fantastic. Yeah, it does. This is nice. <laughs> <laughs> we have barn animals. Hi. Is that right? Did you see a cow? Oh, uh, they're very cute. <laughs> so that's how you finish. We bring I had some help. I am coming in to help, I promise. Oh. I am. There you go. <laughs>
We're almost done. It is cool to finally have a contractor be ahead of schedule this much. I'm sitting in their new great room. We're ready to move in. Four o'clock in the afternoon, the day before the family gets home. Usually, you know, paint's drying when the limo pulls up. This is unbelievable. I've never had a contractor finish this early, ever. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is my favorite piece. Come take a look at this. An antique replica of a barber chair that they've covered in cowhide. So Dave Tash has got the house built. Tracy's already loading in furniture. Everyone seems to be in a real positive mood, but guess what? We've only got eight hours left. Preston, you seen Paige or Tracy? Haven't seen anybody in a while. Dude, where's all the work? Where's all the love? Where are they at? I don't know. I think it's just you and me holding uh, the range. Let me know if you see him. I shall do this. Where is everybody, man? This has been an unbelievable week. I cannot believe it's completely done. I know. The night before they come home. We could not have done it without Dave Tesh. Here's to Dave Tesh. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Dave. No problem. He's gonna love it. Yeah. And it's I love it. I can move in here. I look like very cute in this room. Yes, thank you. Okay, we need this swept in here. We need to just make this look pretty, and I need for people who are finished to just get out. We need to get the books in here. We need to get the trash cans in here. We need the other computer in here. This is not my room. <laughs> thanks, thanks. And Dave Tesh is in the pink room. Why? I thought he was finished. You want to get out of your house that you just built and go sit in the front yard because you're in the way. Allie, how much longer, bud? <laughs> Drop it right here, you guys. Sure, it's got to be going there. I'm starting to stress out. We still have so much to do on the scrapbook and there's so little time. All right, thank God the mattress showed up. The mattress is going in, that's good news. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the bed's here. Okay, the family's gonna be here in one minute. Just ahead. Welcome home, Biden family. All right, Dave. Not only 
did you guys have a new great room, but you've also got a new kitchen. Look at that, baby. Oh, yeah. Mac out. Hey. Oh, my God. Beautiful. I love it. If we're going to do a good job, but I think it still hasn't set in that that's our house. Go check out your house. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Is it pink enough? Yes, it's pink. pink, yes! You guys really came through with my room. I love the pink. Oh my gosh, there's so much pink. <laughs> oh. oh my god, how beautiful is this? Look at this. <gasps> Look at the stained glass one. <laughs> oh, wow! I can't believe it. It's an outhouse indoors. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> for the Harden family because for the first time you guys as a family are underneath one roof. We've given Freeman Sr. his own apartment in the house. <sighs> I'm speechless. Thank you. Oh, oh wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. This is beautiful. I was feeling went to my knees, you know. I mean, the house is, is beautiful, but it, it means so much more when you can share it with those who you love. It's, 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 you're all right. Freeman Sr. doesn't say a lot, but his face makes a thousand words. It's hard to look into hardened eyes. They go right through you. So to see his reaction, you measure his reactions in his eyes, too. I think he was truly happy. Let's go check out the bathroom, Dad. You could see that Grandpa was so happy. His face lit up. He said, it was all right. All right, huh? It's real nice. It's going to be so much easier for you to bathe now. You can sit down while you're bathing. It's going to be a lot easier for you. Freeman Sr. really loved his home. He leaned over and gave me a hug and said, God bless you. This is awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is, Dad. Thank you. To me, as a wife and a mother, the most important thing was Freeman Sr.'s room. A dream come true it was a little blessing. Well, I liked the new room. Oh, that box and thing was all right. I thank God for that, too. And thank you all. What weight class would I be a feather? <laughs> You'd be a lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> what weight class were you in? I was a heavyweight. You were a heavyweight? Yes. Wow. He lit up. Not only was the family together again, but we finally got them all under the same roof, and it, and it was nice, and it felt good, man. Just ahead. Would you guys like to see what I've done to the trailer? Sure. As you can tell, it doesn't look like it used to. It's not over yet. Check out the backyard. <laughs> That's right, a hot tub. There's your greenhouse. Thank you, Ty. <laughs> I love this. Check out your new huge barn. I know you wanted a horse, right? But I didn't want to drive your mom crazy by getting you a huge horse that demanded huge care. So I made a few phone calls, and here's what I got you. A miniature horse. <laughs> Her name is Cherry Cola. I love my horse, Cherry Cola. It's just awesome. It's amazing. 
Freeman, I didn't forget you. Oh, whoa. Oh, look. Oh, Aren't they cute? Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at him, Dad. This is Dad. What'd you think? All right. You know, I like goats. I thought that was just awesome. And I even had a dream that I was going to have a herd of them. <laughs> well, you don't really have a use for the trailer anymore, right? Well, I did some surgery to it. As you can yeah. tell, it doesn't look like it used to. It's a little more rustic. And I thought it really kind of goes with the house. You guys are just awesome with this art. That's actually done by Chainsaw Jack. Chainsaw Jack, he's a figurative sculptor working in old growth redwood. Usually if you hire a sculptor, you don't expect him to pull out a chainsaw. Check out what I like to call the movie trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have your own home theater by Sears in your backyard. You got the ultimate system all by Sears. You are set up, my friend. Sears has been good to this family. Oh, yeah. so that thing just kicks back? Oh, yeah. How's that? All right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. I could definitely imagine watching Lord of the Rings in there. Hey, need one more picture for the scrapbook. One, two, three. Beautiful home. <laughs> To me, the show is about family, all of us sharing, all of us helping one another. My dad, he has this real personal relationship with God. He says that, you know, the Lord helps us quite a bit. I feel like I have been blessed in a tangible way. We all need to feel like we belong to a family. The show is a blessing. Thank you, ABC. This experience feels like I've been blessed by God. You know, morale has been a little low on this job, so I'm gonna try to keep the boys motivated today. You're doing a great job, buddy. Oh, Big motivator. You know what, Dave? You just keep that up, buddy. I like that. Strax nyheter och sen ska vi till Cityakuten där Benton går med på att ta ett DNA-test i det första av två avsnitt. Och sen är 23.05 sommarnattsfilm Frillen Body Double i regi av Brian De Palma. Och i rollerna ser du bland andra Melanie Griffith.